Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you're watching VectorWart. In today's video, we will build a foundational Windows PC Cleaner app using WPF and C Sharp. This application will provide a user-friendly interface for common cleaning tasks, helping users free up disk space and manage system performance. And all of this will be achieved using Google Gemini. It is an artificial intelligence uh, model and this will help us write the code. So today's uh, video is more of how to use the AI tools to develop or uh, design code or applications uh, in Fly. So hope you will like watching this video. So we will implement features to scan and display the size of temporary files, empty the recycle bin, provide a visual progress indicator during scanning and cleaning, and offer quick access to build in Windows performance tool. This is a great stepping stone for more advanced system utility development in WPF using Google Gemini, which is an AI artificial in, uh, intelligence tool. So uh, let's start by firing with, um, your browser and we'll open Gemini and um, uh, you can sign in with your uh, credentials using your Google credentials and this is the page that you will be introduced with and here I will start by asking Gemini a simple prompt so I have the prompt copied so let me paste it over here so the prompt says I want to create a Windows PC cleaner app that cleans temporary files boosts performance etc using WPF and C sharp so let me click on enter and let's see what uh, Gemini has to offer so here you can see uh, Gemini is giving me this step-by-step -step approach on what has to be done. So here it says um, I can help you get started with the basic Windows PC Cleaner application using WPF and C Sharp. So it has now started uh, giving me the steps. So we will walk through them one by one. So let me uh, wait for uh, the process to complete. So it looks like the process is completed. And here you can see. Um, you can see that below you will find the XAML for main window which is over here and the corresponding uh, C sharp code behind to clean the temporary files uh, which is over here. So we have the um, uh, XAML and also the uh, code behind which is um, in C sharp so it also talks about this will give us the foundation to build upon including buttons to initiate the cleaning process and text area to display the status so here you can see uh, this is the code and um, it also talks about how to use this code so let's start by following these steps on how to do this so create a new dot WPF app with .NET framework so let me open Visual Studio and it says you can choose create a new project and search for WPF app so I will go ahead. I have my Visual Studio open. Let me click create a new project. Let me go back and um, take the name from here, which is PC Cleaner and go here. Uh, WPF app with .NET Framework is the project type that I've selected and click on next. I'll give this project a name and just click on create. Next, uh, let's see what uh, is the third step. So the third step says that replace main window.xaml content. Uh, by copying the file that we have over here. So let me go to this part over here and let me take the uh, code from here from ignorable D till the end of the file, till the window. So let me copy this and I will go back to Visual Studio and here I can see my uh, application. So I will copy it from here till the window and paste it. So uh, as usual, you will see some of the errors here. Um, let's uh, see what are those errors. So let me build this project once and let's see what errors do we have. So it says the member corner radius is not recognized as an uh, and is not accessible and some of the uh, things are missing. So let me first uh, go ahead and follow the steps that are available on the um, uh, Gemini. So next is the uh, ask to replace main window.xaml.cs content. So let me go to this part over here and from the constructor, let me copy all of the code and paste it, copy it and go to Visual Studio and go to the code behind and paste it over here. So I have pasted uh, the code that is required. Let me build it again just to rule out any errors. It still says uh, the member corner radius is not recognized or is not accessible. So let me copy this and let me go to uh, Gemini and um, tell Gemini, I have followed the steps, but I see an error 
and paste your error. So let's see what um, Gemini has uh, to say about this error. It's still thinking and it says that, let me wait for a few minutes. It's still okay. Now it's done. So it says that I understand you are encountering an error um, or is not visible, which uh, with the provided WPF PC cleaner app code in the canvas. This typical um, ha this typically happens when the corner radius property is applied directly to a button element without the framework fully recognizing it in the context of its default template or in certain .NET framework versions. So to resolve this, I will modify the main window.xaml code to set corner radius directly within the border element inside the button's control template. This ensures that the corner radius is applied where it always recognized and renders correctly. So here is the updated main window.xaml code. So here what it has done is it has modified the main window.xaml code to apply the corner radius within the border and doing so it will resolve our issues. So let me copy this new code that it has provided and let's see if uh, this will resolve our issues. So let me copy this, go to Visual Studio, uh, copy the content of the XAML and paste it over here. And hopefully, I think, All of this is fine. Then it has a grid. The border is closed. Stack panel button. No errors here. Button style. And there it should be an error here, which is not required. And if you remove this part, and then there was a comment there. So that is the reason all of these errors were encountered. And the same goes over here. So if I remove this, Okay, and control K D, uh, all of our code should be aligned properly. And now you can see uh, our designer is loaded and you can see this uh, designer has the title, the logs where the um, cleaning has to happen and start cleaning and exit button. So now there is one more error over here and let's see what is the error that we see. Um, and the error should go away and that is this path. So it is saying that the path is an ambiguous reference and I think we can uh, simply change by adding uh, system dot io dot path and this should resolve the issues and let me build again and all the uh, project has been loaded successfully and now let's run the application and see if uh, the PC cleaner app runs fine. So let's start by clicking start cleaning. So it says that um, access denied to the directory and some of the files. So some of the files, um, for example, it has started cleaning the process and it is scanning these temporary locations and it gets an access denied to the directory. Uh, some folders or scanning might be uh, having errors. So let's see what uh, these errors are. So uh, if you go back to uh, the uh, Gemini um, page here you if you scroll up let's see what steps are there so here you can see it tells us to remember to run such applications with administrative privileges if you intend to clean system level temporary files as access to some directories might be restricted and I believe that is the same thing that is happening to us where we get the error uh, of access denied so uh, let's go to our code here uh, let's uh, once again rebuild this solution and we have our file over here in C debug. So let me go right click on this page and open containing folder. And here it will take us to the project files. And in the bin, we have a debug folder. And if you want to publish this uh, application, you can always uh, change this debug to release. And then uh, you will have the uh, release files. Uh, but here I have this file now. Let me right click and run as administrator and click on yes. And now if I, um, start cleaning you will see that 
it still uh, shows some of the errors but i do not see the uh, access is denied because um, we have now run the application in admin privileges and access related issues shouldn't be there but deleting uh, file uh, errors might be there because these files might these are temporary files and they might be related to the task that i'm doing now and they cannot they are in use and they cannot be deleted so that is the reason uh, those files cannot be deleted but if you see at the bottom total space reclaimed is 45 mb i ran this uh, application once before uh, and it showed me 1.6 uh, gb of uh, total space was reclaimed and the cleaning process has completed and if you click on exit the application closes so this is how uh, simple it is to uh, program your new application using Gemini or any AI tool. You can also add more modules to it. And here it says, uh, talks about the same. This application provides a basic temporary file cleaning to enhance it. You can add more cleaning categories like recycle bin, browsers, cache, and so on, and implement performance boosting features like startup program manager, service manager, registry cleaning, and so on. So all of this can be achieved by just typing in the prompt. For example, I I also want this app to clean reg registry. So let's see what it does. Of course, you will need to provide a clear and uh, proper fr of, uh, prompt so that you do not uh, clear something that is very crucial for Windows to run. So make sure always you write responsibility, the font, uh, the action that you need to perform. And here you can see uh, it is still working on it, but uh, let's wait for this to complete and see uh, it has already provided me with the code and the key changes that you have to do so it is asking me to use microsoft.win32 uh, which is added on the top of the uh, code it should be added over here you can see this and it is required for registry access and uh, you can call uh, make method uh, it has also added a method to start cleaning button a click event and uh, also added a method called clean registry. If you scroll down, so uh, let me scroll down a bit. So here you can see it has added this uh, clean registry method, which will uh, identify potential uh, junk registry entries and clean them. And um, so likewise, you can also explore more um, uh, options with uh, Gemini or any AI tool for that matter. But uh, I would recommend you to use Google Gemini because it structures it very uh, well and uh, it will be easier for you to follow the code uh, or this video. So hope you all like watching this video. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up, like, share and do subscribe to my channel. Till then, bye bye.